Hello guys, good evening to all, this is Mike Padawan, one we're back to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, May 2 to 4, 2024, and we are now in the month of May, and uh, it's just a few weeks uh, away before the uh, start of uh, uh, increasing localized thunderstorms as we set in into the month of June, which is likely to be the start of the wet and rainy season across the type 1 climates of the Philippine Islands, as well as the decreasing effects of El Nino. But right now, we're still feeling the uh, extreme heat index that we are uh, experiencing during the past uh, few months, and it's likely to uh, approach the highest peak this month and uh, some areas will experience uh, 50 plus degrees of uh, high heat index. Uh, but again, uh, let's drink uh, lots of water to battle off this extreme heat and avoid going out between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. if you are elder elderly, particularly those that have uh, uh, health issues like uh, uh, hypertension, uh, diabet diabetes, as well as... Uh, uh, problems with the heart okay so uh, this is brought to you by uh, typhoon 2000 and daga college foundation typhoon preparedness center this is our english version in partnership with about this power bank of the philippine islands sustainable with you if you want to know more about the program or bpi just click on the link up here or via facebook uh, channel there is a link at the description of this video and also uh, the Avenue uh, Plaza Hotel one of the best hotels in the Bicol region the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camarani Sur Congressman Gabi Bordado so let's begin with our update here's the latest graph set that we issued for today Thursday and valid until tomorrow Friday the warm easterlies is uh, currently uh, uh, blowing across the eastern sections of the Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and eastern Mindanao. But we still uh, expect some uh, slight uh, weakening of the heat index, although it's only about 1 or 2 degrees centigrade below uh, what happened the uh, past few days. But uh, we're not yet sure if it's going to go up again. But it depends now on the amount of humidity in the uh, uh, atmosphere. So if the humidity remains below and not higher, the heat index will just be around 45 to 47. So it depends on the amount of uh, water vapor. But when we... Uh, uh, expect the arrival of this uh, thunderstorm or rain clouds developing across the Philippine Islands. We expect that the, heat, the humidity will dramatically increase. Therefore, the heat index will temporarily hit more than 50 degrees. And then here comes the thunderstorms. Once it uh, uh, experiences some precipitation, it will uh, uh, bring the heat index abruptly downward. Okay. And we're still a few weeks uh, before the start of the wet season and might likely to be delayed probably uh, first week or second week of June. It depends on the situation right now since we are now moving into the last part of the, the effects of the El Nino. And here's the fast animation. Nothing uh, uh, extraordinary across the Philippine Islands except for some cloudiness here. Developing near the equator this is the new equatorial trough, which is uh, trying to uh, increase more cloudiness and likely the development of the intertropical convergence zone. But for the past few days, some development occurred, but right now it's uh, non-existent. And uh, it's just uh, uh, the usual near equatorial trough here to the south of Palau. And for the zoom in satellite animation, uh, between 5 o'clock until uh, 11 this evening, there are some localized thunderstorms that formed over the Cordillera administrative region, as well as some areas of uh, Ilocos uh, region, but mostly here over the Cordillera and uh, the western sections of Isabela, Quirino. So there are 
local as thunderstorms that uh, brought some much needed rainfall but it's not enough okay while over to the south of the Philippine Islands over Mindanao there's a small area of uh, uh, thunderstorm moving downward across some Huanga so it may bring some uh, much needed rainfall over that area but so so small okay and if we take a look at the latest highest heat index observed in Naga City as of Thursday or today, May 2, Bungay Libotan is at 47 degrees as of 2.40 p.m. This was uh, 1 degree uh, lower compared to yesterday, which have a high of 48 degrees. Again, uh, there is a danger of heat clumps and heat exhaustion. And also heat stroke is probable with this kind of heat index. For the next two days, the highest heat index forecast based from the Pagasa Ancomet Station in Sibisua, Pili Kamakini Sur. By tomorrow, Friday, May 3, it will be at 44 degrees. Saturday, May 4, 45 degrees. So likely uh, in Naga City is uh, between 46 to 47 or 48. So let's hope it will not reach uh, 50 degrees. And if you take a look at the uh, latest uh, top 11 uh, heat index and temperature observations across the Bicol region via our automated weather stations of Typhoon 2000, top notch is still in the bottom at 47 degrees with a negative 1 degree uh, decrease of temperature of the heat index and 35 degrees Outside temperature, Mabolo is 46, as well as Concepcion Pequena and Calabanga. Well, Calabanga have uh, registered the highest uh, outside temperature of 35.7, or if we round it off, it's around 36 degrees, around 2.34 in the afternoon. While in uh, San Felipe, which was formerly number 2, it uh, moved down to number 5. Yesterday is uh, 47 degrees, right now it's only 45, so minus 2 during the past 24 hours. And uh, also over Basot, Conquistote, Concepcion Grande, Naga City, Sorsogon City, Sorsogon, they both have identical heat index of 44 degrees. While over at Sangai, it's around 43, Ligaspi City, 42, Virac is maintaining uh, hot index, uh, heat index of 40 degrees. So you'll notice that those uh, facing the uh, Pacific Ocean and uh, the coastal waters of the Gaspi as well as Virac, they have much lower sea surface, uh, much lower heat index because of uh, access to the coastal areas wherein sea breeze helps uh, decrease the high heat index while over uh, the Naga city area which is a landlocked uh, uh, city one of the uh, major problem of this is due to lack of trees as well as weak winds or calm conditions and uh, I'm gonna show to you the uh, uh, what I mean of this effect Okay, since uh, Naga City is a developing a city, so we expect this so-called urban heat island effect wherein there is an increase in temperature in urban environments due to uh, developments, okay, man-made structures, and usually building materials such as uh, concrete and asphalt absorb and trap heat, heating up cities as well as the high heat temperature effect health, increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases, heat stroke, sunstroke, dehydration, and heat related deaths. While the consequences are worse for vulnerable groups such as the elderly, babies, and people with chronic illnesses. So take note of that. So this, it's very important that we plant more trees within our city make some greeneries okay on top of our buildings to uh, avoid the uh, extreme heat index so you'll notice why naga city is always on top because of the urban heat island effect uh, there's a suggestion or based on the study that if we put in 30 percent more trees 
into the stitch or a balance between uh, development and uh, trees we will be having some cooler or a drop of temperature that's uh, the reason why over Sibisua the heat index there is uh, less than uh, 2 degrees or 3 degrees below uh, what we are experiencing in Naga City because Sibisua is lots of trees okay so it's very important that's why it says here that green areas around cities stay cooler so take note of that those uh, developed uh, cities across the Philippine Islands don't forget to uh, plant more trees across the surrounding uh, avenues streets of the city as well as uh, putting some uh, greenhouses on top of your buildings lots of greeneries to avoid or de to decrease the effects of uh, heat index okay now uh, let's take a look at the uh, running day-to-day uh, -day running uh, heat index uh, uh, observation as you can see we are still uh, trending upward okay because uh, this is uh, because the graph uh, started last March 1 which is still under the Northeast monsoon but after the middle of March start to beginning starts to move up and uh, look at this uh, although it's fluctuating we are now moving down a little bit 45.4 uh, this afternoon but let's hope that the arrival of this uh, uh, rainy season will decrease the effects of uh, the heat index so there's there will be a, a fluctuation of this so watch out for that now for the Pagasa report the highest now okay is uh, over uh, in uh, the Kupan City, a high of uh, 48 degrees, while the rest is ranging from 38 to 47, okay, or 46. Okay, and Biko uh, regions, Bisua, 39, so much lower, while uh, other areas, which we will not mention anymore, just look at the website of Pagasa okay for more details on the highest heat index or so just visit our facebook page there's a uh, uh, graphic link okay that will show to you the hottest heat index across the country now if you take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days until sunday nothing changes it will be generally warm easterlies across the philippine islands but we expect some localized rainfall or thunderstorms that will develop to the weekend in some parts of the country now for the rain forecast so uh, by tomorrow afternoon Friday we expect uh, still dry conditions nothing uh, uh, insignificant okay or nothing significant Saturday afternoon we expect uh, some thunderstorms to develop over Mindanao because of the near equatorial trough. And on Saturday evening, there might be some showers expected over northern Panay, as well as the eastern sections of the Bicol region, Karanduan is included. While Sunday afternoon, between uh, 12 to 3 p.m., there might be a uh, chance of a localized thunderstorms across Bicol region including Camarines provinces and also here over Samar and Ilocos region and the Cordillera administrative region the mountainous areas might be having some thunderstorms and also here across some Bonga Peninsula and some portions of Soxygen and uh, if you take a look uh, during uh, Monday Monday morning there might be lots of cloudiness across the Philippine uh, across the Bicol region and Mimoropa parts of Visayas and uh, when we reach the afternoon there will be another round of localized thunderstorms in some portions of the Bicol region Visayas and Mindanao as well as the Ilocos region area of northern Luzon so we expect rainfall on uh, 
Sunday, okay, based on the uh, European model forecast, Sunday and Monday. So, we will be treated with another round of rainfall. Okay, and so far, that's the latest. We will stop there until Sunday, so don't forget to bring your umbrellas for the possibility of some thunderstorms, particularly during noontime or afternoon or in the afternoon or evening. Now for the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until Saturday, most of the rainfall are concentrated over Mindanao because the approach of the near equatorial trough. The rest will have uh, uh, very dry conditions and uh, lower chances of thunderstorms until Saturday. Okay. For the wave forecast, today, Thursday evening, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, until Sunday afternoon, we expect wave heights to still uh, remain between 1 to 1 1.8 meters in wave heights, while over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands, including the West Philippine Sea, where Kalayan Island Group is located, the wave heights will become up to uh, almost one meter and is very suitable for fishing activities and sea travel. And before we leave you, here's the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, valid uh, week 2 until week 3. For week 2, valid uh, May 8 to May 14, the probability of a tropical cyclone here has diminished. And during our last video, there's still some 50% uh, probability, but right now it's no longer there. So we expect continued effects of the hot dry season and extreme heat index uh, temperatures across the country. While week 3, valid May 15 to May 21, with, which has uh, less than 30% probability, up to 0% probability of uh, uh, happening, okay? So, uh, the Philippine Islands will have more than 50% of below average rainfall that will be on May 15 to 21. So, that's uh, more, more than 50% of below average rainfall probability for the rest of the country. Okay, so that's the in-depth report for this uh, Thursday, Thursday evening and we will return this weekend to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherizer. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.